Hello everyone and welcome to Peglin, the Peggle roguelike, roguelike game. I fucking love this game. I've played it a little bit, not too much, just a small amount, just to, you know, see what it's like. I've also deleted my save data, so all of my uh, data is going to be, you know, on recording. Um, it's it's really fun. As someone who loves Peggle, absolutely adores the game, it's really nice to have a game that's very similar. Uh, I'm going to take this. Okay, so it... It'll take a second, if you guys haven't seen this game, to learn what it's like. This is a really good map. Holy shit, that's a lot of chests and elite fights. By the way, I'm aware that the uh, health bar is kind of covered by my face cam. I do fix that in a later episode, um, but I recorded a few episodes with it covered, not realizing. So you're going to have to pop up for, put up with it for a little while, but you'll basically know how much health I'm on based off how red the screen gets. Just so I'll let you all know. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, I have a couple of mods installed, just like really quality of life ones, just so I can plot my path out and stuff like that, so I can do stuff like this, so I know where I'm going. Um, there's a lot, a lot of stuff in this map for me, which is mental. Um, I'm not, I'm not playing with any like custom builds or anything. Uh, not playing Crucible, anything like that. Uh, we just play in very basic to begin with, and then we can go from that. I'm not very good at the early game of this game. But, you know, I'm just trying to, uh, once I get synergy going, you know, I'm good, I'm good with getting the synergies going. And once they go in, then we're good. Um, bombs are OP, which is why I'm focusing on them. Very nice. Um, but yeah, like I said, I have played a couple rounds of this game, not too much, just trying to see what it's like really, see if it's good enough to stream and record. Take notes for bot 2 because healing is very important in this game, any kind of healing you can get is incredible, uh, though I don't need it right now, so I'm just going to skip that because it does do deal damage to myself when I fire it. If I record all of my content and don't trim it down, it will take like 50 minutes it approximately for a full game, full run through. So I'm not actually going to not edit it. I'm going to like trim it down, trim out the quiet bits and stuff that's not important. But yeah, so we're going to try to keep it nice. Oh, Lucky Penny. I like Lucky Penny. So we're going to try and keep it like within a reasonable amount of time to record for. But I don't know how it's going to go. We'll find out. Okay, the crit's in a good spot here. 100 damage right off the bat, that's not bad, not bad damage. I want a... Uh, the crits are here, the refresh is down here or over here. It's a really awkward spot. I'm just gonna take over here, guarantee a crit, try and get around 100 damage, not bad. Uh, crit's still here, I'll skip Nurse for Batu because it does less damage. I'm not targeting multiple enemies. I can't believe I didn't hit that refresh. That's kind of annoying. Um, I'm going to try and bounce this side. And that's bad. That's just bad. That why are all... <laughs> what is this? What is this? I've never seen this before. If this refresh was like in that big, that would be mental. And I still somehow don't hit a refresh. Nice. I'm just going to take this refresh. Thank you, game. I think I'll go this side. Tried to get the refresh. I can't believe I didn't. That's kind of annoying. Um, guarantee a crit here. Yeah, I'll skip those for bar two. No, we'll throw those for bar two after this round, I think. Because I do really need the healing. Ow, oh, never mind, I can't. <laughs> I forget the amount of damage that this guy does. It's a lot. It's a lot of damage. It's a painfully large amount of damage. Um, I'll take Matri Obscure, I think, here, because Matri Obscure is amazing. And Refresh, of course. Refresh, of course, is amazing. Um, so, Refresh Synergy is ma massive in this uh, new... Okay, I'll take that, I guess. I will force a stone into the Obelisk. I... The Obelisk's a nice orb. Don't get me wrong, I like the Obelisk, but it's not for me. It's definitely not for me. Not my kind of vibe. Alright, I'll take the... Dag orb here. Very useful. Pretty much guarantee a kill. Um, I can't use Nurse for Vatu because it does 15 damage to me when I fire it, which will kill me instantly. Which isn't very isn't very pog. Um, hopefully I can hit the bomb here. I can. That's good. That was bad, but I just wanted the bomb. Okay. Again, I can't use Nurse for Batu, which is pain, but I can throw that, which is good. 
Oh, this is awkward, but I will switch to Matriarch Obscure just for the extra cover orb that I get. Multiple! Multiple is amazing. I love multiple. In ev every game that I can get multiple in, Peggle, Peglin, Pinball. I could upgrade Norb and upgrade Matriarch Obscure, but that won't decrease the self damage, which means I won't be able to use it. So instead, I'm just going to heal, and I'm going to take that chest over there, if I can get to it. Power Glove, yes, Power Glove is good. Plus one, plus one. Just easy extra damage for free. Metro Obscure isn't as good here as Dagob is. Dagob is mental here. And that's a really good spot for a refresh. Look at that damage, dude. 279 on a 28. Um, grab that crit and that refresh. Very nice. That crit didn't need, I didn't even know that crit was there. I kind of just threw it knowing that the refresh was there. Um, I'll throw this stone. Might as well. And that kills. I should have uh, gone with Nurse for Batu, apparently. But that's fine. Um, I will upgrade Matri Obscure because Matri Obscure is insane. I'm going to go refresh Synergy. I know I should go for healing, but I have Nurse for Batu, which means I'm pretty comfortable with not having a healing or um, relic. Though, if that comes around again, I will happily take it. I'm guaranteed a crit here, so I will happily use Dagob, even if it's a bad shot. Um... Then Matri Obscure, which will do way more this time, because it's got twice the amount of balls, thanks to having multiple two instead of one, thanks to braiding it. I will try to explain most things about this game as I go, but I apologise if I miss anything. If I do, I'll probably put it in editing, have like a little banner or something saying what each thing is. Oh, what's Nurse for Batu do? Nurse for is 3-4, I will heal here, plus because of so many enemies, this... Uh, when, when this is level 3, it targets all enemies, I think. Um, I will... Hmm. If I target slime, he'll come... Okay, yeah, this, this is worth it. Okay, and I'm healing for more than I'm taking with damage to myself, so... This will do 3 damage, but it's fine. And another nose for Batu. I'm going to skip that just for the dag orb. For the extra damage. It's worth it to me. Okay, that's good. And I'll skip this for Metri Obshka. And that's basically GG, because the bomb will kill slime, and then Metri Obshka will kill. I'll take Metri Obshka in that case. Every reload grants two more circle. That's fine. Also, a lot of the names are puns. Metri Obshka and Metri instead of Metri Obshka. Stuff like that. throw this up because I might as well. The amount of damage that this does is mental. Look at that. I've almost killed the tree already. <laughs> Matri Obshka OP did. I'll be able to throw Nusvabatu now. Grab the crit. Might as well. Heal to full. That's mental. Deal a lot of damage too. 150 damage. 140 damage. That's a lot. Um, I, I'm going to reload here and I will Take Matri Obshka, might as well. Why not? <laughs> I should have gone with Nurse for Batu because it would have targeted him. Because you can target any enemy with it, but that's fine. I don't really need to worry that much. This this build isn't bad in the slightest, so I'm not taking pretty much any damage from this. And I will heal to full after this fight as well because it's a boss fight. Um, Alright, I guess I'll just do this. Yes, and now I'm guaranteed to attack the mole. We love to see it. Oh my god, the bombs are going to kill the mole alone. Look at that. <laughs> Didn't even need the 700 damage. I will upgrade Nurse for Batu. Wand of Skultimate Power, Cursed Mask, Unpretentious Pendant, and the gift that keeps on giving. All of these are good. All of these are amazing. The Wand of Skultimate Power is insane. And the gift that keeps on giving is beautiful. I think if I could get the relic that allows me to heal for every 12 pegs hit or whatever, then that would be great. But since I don't have that, I think I might go with the gift that keeps on giving. It will give me extra damage because my orbs will stay on the field for longer. Okay, and we have pretty good run this side. I think we're going to go left. But I have to check. Um, left, left, yep. Just stick to the left. Then take the... Fight? Sure, that sounds good to me. Um, this is a really weird 
I don't remember this fight very well because I've only had it like once or twice. It's a very weird fight, but that's guaranteed kill on the first enemy, which is nice. Overwhelmer would be nice here, but I didn't take Overwhelmer in favor of the other relic that I took at the time, which I already forgot because my memory is atrocious. Oh, that's painful. I'll just take Diagorb, I guess. Guarantee an absolute ton of damage. Could hit a bomb, that'd be nice, but no, I don't. Sad, but it's fine. Um, I don't need healing, so Metro Obstruct. Since I'm going to be targeting the front enemy anyway, there's no point in not. Wow! See, this is why we like the gift, the gift that keeps on giving. Pow. The gift that keeps on giving is insane. I'll just upgrade the dag orb, I guess. No reason not to. I would like some more orbs, but it's not actually giving me the option to take more. I'm not flipping the chip. That is a massive gamble. Um, because the two times I've taken the, uh, that, it's been painful, to say the least. I'll remove the stone. Um... That keeps randomly... I don't know if I'm accidentally triggering that, but that's like the third time that that's happened. Um, it's just gone on to that anyway. And it's a fight. Okay. Um, I'll take Dagorb here since I can pretty much guarantee this crit. And with the gift that keeps on giving, the Chris Dagorb is going to stay on here for a, for a moment, at least. Dealing mental immense damage. I'm pretty sure they also updated it so bombs only do half damage to shields, like the orbs do, which is nice. I'm happy that they did that because, you know, bombs were just too overpowered in this. They're still overpowered, but they're just not as much. Okay, and Nurse for Batu, I might as well use it. Heal to full. <laughs> I was hoping I could get a kill out of it, but I'm bad, apparently. But this run out is easy. Doesn't matter how good it is. Upgraded Dig Orb once again. For some reason, I'm not getting given orbs. I don't know why. I'm not able to get any orbs. I want new ones. This is a really, really small slim to win build. To be fair, I think I did get... Yeah, every reload grants two my circle, which gives me two extra normal damage, or non-crit damage, which is great and all, but when I like my crit damage, you know, it's not the best. But crit, this isn't a crit build anyway, so it's not really too much to worry about. It's a lot of wasted damage on a shield, which is sad, but it's fine. I'll skip this and switch over to Metriobska. Get to reload faster, which will do more normal damage if I do happen to miss a crit, which is pretty difficult with this current build, but it's fine. That was a bad shot, but it's fine. And since I've got no for Batu, I'm going to actually target this... This guy, yeah, I'm gonna target this guy. Okay, not bad. What I said before was correct, they didn't have it, they did actually. It was actually always like that. And now my non crit actually does more damage than non crit. <laughs> Which makes me tempt. I want the critable, but it's just not worth it. I'll take Ice Circle. I think Ice Circle is really good because if you get a crit, it pierces through all enemies. I can't guarantee a crit here. Um, but the crit damage is just so tempting. Like, look at that. 14 crit damage. Do I take it? I think I go for it. I'll risk it. Why not? Go for the crit. And I got it, which is mental damage. The difference is insane. Sad that I only knocked out the shield, but it's fine. Take the bomb. Hope I can get for another bomb, but I don't think I will. Nope, don't get another bomb, but that's okay. That's sad that I didn't kill, but that's fine. We have Ice I Circle, which... I don't have a straight shot to a crit on except for right here. Um, I need to pierce one of these. I'll pierce that. So I can pierce through every single enemy here, and with the amount of damage that I'm doing, this is guaranteed to kill everything except for the bad guy until I get 600 damage and 
guarantee the correct kill on the fat guy. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad damage. That kills everything except for him. Um, and now we just make Shobshka. Which does a stupid amount of damage because why wouldn't it? <laughs> that's the bugs of the gift that keeps on giving. That's why I love it so much. And I'll heal, why not? Nosfobatu is very useful here. Ow. Ow. I'll switch to Nosfobatu again just so I can max heal. <laughs> this won't even actually kill the guy, I don't think. But I want to use Mitch Obscure again. Do I use Mitch Obscure or do I go for the da I'm going to go for the Dagob. Dagob shot. So this is like, without multiple... This is doing <laughs> near a thousand damage with a normal Dagob, but look at those buffs, dude. Those buffs are mental. So I'll take the upgrade to Ice Circle. You know what? Sure, Weaponized Envy. That works. All of Nothing. I, I absolutely adore All of Nothing. Yes! Oh, I love this mob so much. I love this mob so, so much. It's one of my favourite orbs in the game. Doesn't matter which side we go here, this just gets us an extra fight. Which is nice. So, all of nothing, by the way, um, is one of my favourites because it has mental crit damage, but does zero normal damage, right? And then, a tier 3 upgrade, it also means that any, any upgrade, any relics that upgrade the normal attack will upgrade crit damage instead. Which is great because you cannot modify the uh, normal damage of that orb. Okay, this is going to pierce all enemies, which is already going to kill everything. <laughs> Just like that. I won't bother with Nurse for Bartu. I'll use a stone, I guess. Nurse for Bartu will do actually less damage here than the stone will. Some decent bombing. And then pop. Then all of nothing. One of my favorite orbs in the entire game. Because... It just does too much damage. And that's without any buffs. Like, the other things have been buffed pretty well, but... Like in the past runs. But that's just mental damage. Alright, um... I'll use Metri Obshka, just so I can hopefully get a uh, refresh. There we go. Nice. I just want refresh synergy now. If I can get a refresh orb, that, or Critable. Critable would also be great, to be honest with you. The reason why I skipped Critical Ball before was because I completely forgot that I also have the ability to refresh every single crit. Thanks to the uh, Heavy Shaft Potion. Which is actually one of my favourite. Heavy and Light Shaft Potions are some of the best in the game. Super Boots. Okay, heals. I will take the heals and I will also take another Elite Fight. Get me a Relic and a choice of one at that. Metriorska, yes. Matrix Obscure is amazing. Oh, five damage on the shield left. That's painful. I'm going to switch to Ice Circle. Get the crit. And kill everything in one shot. Oh, yes. All of nothing with a good crit location. If I get crits in Malice Fleece, I'll also be very happy, which basically makes the crits scale linearly. So if you hit multiple crits, you do more damage than if you only hit one. Um, which is a really good upgrade to have. Really good relic to take. But it's best in crit builds. Crit builds are one of the best synergies you can have in this game, which is nice. But, well, that's in my opinion anyway. Crit and bomb synergies are just mental. Can't realistically skip this here because Nosferbati won't kill, so I'll just take the stone. It does enough damage to kill anyway. I didn't even need crit, I shouldn't have crit because it does less damage if it does. Ducktorb, I don't need. Ball Lightning's alright. Infernorb is fun. And Morbidorb is one of my favourite orbs in the game, just because it's fun. Every reload guy needs one balance, sure. Or ball lunch, sorry. Not bad, not bad. I mean, we've already finished, almost finished the second floor. I will take the fireballs, sure, why not? We shouldn't be taking more orbs, because to be fair, we need um, the slim to win build. But uh, all upgrade, Morbidorb. No, all of, all of nothing, sorry. Massive damage on crit, as we already know, but effects that apply. Plus X, plus Y, so that would be plus damage to normal attack, and then plus damage to crit damage. We'll instead do nothing to normal damage, but add both crit and normal damage buffs together to add to crit, which is mental. 
If that makes sense, I'm sorry if my explanations aren't good, but I haven't really been playing this game for very long. I love this orb so much because it just detonates bombs on impact. Come on, hit the refresh as you go out. Thank you. And that will... Well, the refreshes are also great because they buff my other orbs. Um, I will take Nurse for Bar 2 here. And it doesn't matter if I crit or not in the slightest because both crit and normal damage are the exact same. And that guarantees a full heal. Um... Sure, why not? Please. Do good damage. Yes, crit. Yes! Oh, that's beautiful. I was hoping it would run perfectly into the center there. Nice. 1241 damage. Very nice, very nice. We'd love to see it. I'll actually take Ice Circle here, just because I kind of need... Um, I'll actually do that. There we go. Yeah, the reason why I'm taking Ice Circle here is so I can penetrate through um, the first enemy. I'm going to hit through all of them, but the piercing through the first enemy was essential for that. Then I'll take this, because all of my damage would have been wasted if I took a dagger up there. Unless I got a bomb, which wasn't guaranteed. And that's GG. Nice. That's the second one done. I'll upgrade... Upgrade Ice Circle. Might as well. I'll take Kinetic Meteorite just because it's fun. <laughs> and it will also keep my orbs on the board for longer, which will also be effective. I see a lot of elite fights, and that's two elite fights before you even get to the chest, which I haven't actually seen before. So we'll take this rare down to here, um, and we can get a chest and an elite fight extra on this side compared to the other routes. So I'll take that route, sure, why not? Uh, don't bother taking Morbid Orb here because the board is completely, you know, fully intact, so it won't actually do anything extra. Yes, get the refresh as you leave, thank you. Instantly kill the first enemy, and then switch to Matrix Obscure Shell, well, Matrix Obscure, sorry, and then immediately kill the second enemy. Just like that. <laughs> this game is really fun. It's really satisfying when you have, like, mental numbers, especially with Matrix Obscure. It's one of my favorite orbs in the game. And we get another one? I'll take a second Matrix Obscure. I do love Orbsium, personally. It's really fun to play with, but I Matrix Obscure is just amazing. Plus, it will synergize so well with Kinetic Meteorite. Um, oh, this is an interesting choice. Okay, it duplicated my level 3 Nose for Bar 2. Not, not what I was planning on, but it works, I guess. And to be honest, I was kind of hoping it would duplicate Meteor Obscure, but Nose for Bar 2 was not a bad orb for it to duplicate. Um, I will take Stone here over Nose for Bar 2, just because crit damage is higher and it. Do, do, it doubles damage that's like physical damage, whereas it halves damage that's magical, which Nurse Party is. The Robob is fun. The Robob is really fun. I think I might just take Robob just for the fun of it. Yeah, I'm taking Robob. It's fun. I don't care if it doesn't synergize well with my build. It's fun. And I, it synergizes with Kinetic Meteorite in terms of making it go batshit insane, so worth it. Um, this is also worth it, taking that there. Okay, that run out is really good. Okay. And that will kill pretty much everything. It won't kill the big guy. It'll do a lot of damage though. Nurse for Bartu. Okay. I'm not going to take Nurse for Bartu. I'm going to take Major Obscure. Might as well. Major Obscure is mental, just in general. So, hmm, not bad. Not bad damage. And I guess I'll take Inferno Orb here. Why not? It's fun. And I. Somehow it didn't kill. Okay, that's fine. I'll take Robob then. Just because Bouncy Go Brewer. Look at this. It's so mental. The problem is because I refreshed, it doesn't synergize with Kinetic Meteorite. That's the problem with Kinetic Meteorite, is it's anti-synergy. Well, refresh synergy anti-synergizes with Kinetic Meteorite, but it's fine. I don't mind. I will upgrade my other Matrix Obscure though. Taking short stack. If I can get a critable, I will be very happy. 18 damage. See, this is why it was good. 18 damage. For a normal crit. I did I had such a shit run out for that and it just did so well. Uh level 2 Matrix Obscure. Okay, Nurse for Batu is actually better here for the most part. Yeah. 
just like that. And I'll take my extra object, I might as well. I'd like some more crits, to be honest, if I can get a crit ball or something that buffs crits, or something that generates crits or whatever. Anything like that, I'll be very happy. All of Nothing now has a 21 crit damage per peg. That is insane. Insane numbers. I'll take Nurse for Batu here because 6 damage is just dumb. Um, whereas this will deal damage to all enemies if I can hit a crit. I shouldn't have skipped it because I can't guarantee I'll hit a crit. And that was absolutely horrendous. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's fine. See, this is this is this, the worry of taking what I did. And that's bad, but it's fine. I have the health to deal with the... Oh my god, the hearts. Okay, I will upgrade Matryoshka. Remind me never to take that again. <laughs> the last time I took the fucking short stack, it killed me as well. I gotta be honest with you. Oh my god, the bombs. They're keeping the... Uh, the rubble alive. Bob. Not bad damage, not bad damage. Um, I do kind of need to get to Nurse for Bartu as quickly as possible, though. If I can get that bomb. Nope, okay. Can I get the bomb underneath it? Nope, okay, that's fine. I went that side just because I knew I'd be able to get a uh, kinetic meteorite going insane. Can I get that bomb this time, please? Yay, I got it. <laughs> I'm going to skip over Metriobstra, I think, for Nasvati. Actually, no, he won't kill this turn. He won't deal damage to me at all this turn. So I will go with um, Metriobstra. Might as well. Hope for a crit. I got the crit. Let's go. Let's get this bread, gamers. I'm gonna heal. Chrysomalus Fleece! Yes! It's exactly what I was talking about earlier. Check behind the waterfall. Ah, there's a monster waiting for me. Oh no, this is bad because my build does not have... This build is not like AoE damage build. This is like... Or, or bomb synergy. This is like single target. This is mental damage, but single target. Like, I'm getting the bombs from the fireball, yes. But, still. Um, I'm gonna take... Ice Circle here. It does... Doesn't guarantee I get any damage, but... It's still a good bet that I get damage. Well, it guarantees I get damage, but like, is in not good numbers. But that crit was mental. Oh my god, I'm going to happily take that here. Heal to full. Needed that <laughs> with how much damage I took the other, like, the other fight. There we go, perfect. And now we can use all of nothing. Missed the crit because I'm a dumbass, but hit it again later on. <laughs> because this... This... The order's mental. Look at that, 11 crits. 27, th near 30,000 damage. That is the highest amount of damage I've ever done in this game. I did get an achievement the other day like, for dealing over 9,000 damage in a single hit on my crit build, but that was mental. Um, I'll take a Morbid Orb upgrade, I think. Two extra refreshes, that's amazing. We needed refresh synergy. Aim mirrors longer. Love that. I love becoming uh, Bjorn. Deal damage to the targeted enemy equals the number of pegs restored on a refresh. That is insane. Our refresh synergy today is unreal. Oh. I think this is vampirism. Yes, lifesteal. I love vampirism builds personally. They are my favorite builds in any game, so I'm taking it. Also, you might be wondering why I don't have my headphones on today. It's because I don't need them. <laughs> I don't need them on. So I'm not... I'm, I, don't, I just don't have them on. I like you guys being able to see my hair as well, because I have new hair. I have purple hair. 
Oh my god, the Kritzamalis fleece is unreal. 12k Maitri Obshka. One sh one fight and just dead. Like I didn't need they didn't even get a chance. More refresh synergy? Yes. Of course. I'll try and heal a bit here as well. I do miss navigate, but I don't actually take damage from miss navigation anymore. Which is nice. Oh my god. I forget that the kinetic meteorite also works like afterwards. Yes! Upgrade knob for me. Um Upgrade Rubble because it's fun. <laughs> now we have the original Thought Boss here. We are playing after the update, if any of you guys actually keep up with this game at home. Which I'm sure some of you do if this if this video actually does well, because uh Pegalin videos have been doing amazingly on YouTube recently. I will take Matryoshka. Matryoshka is amazing. Please hit a crit. Thank you. Pop. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have just the boss fight left. I'll heal up a bit, not like I need it. I said I'll heal up a bit, not like I need it. Thank you. Because I'm already at max health. So now this is painful because this boss fight is very difficult for the most part. Um, it does. They do mental amounts of chip damage, which is why I'm going with Ice Circle there, is because I didn't couldn't guarantee a crit. I can almost guarantee a crit here. There we go. Yep. And that will already kill one of them, just like that. Thanks to all of nothing being overpowered. And now somehow my um, Dag Orb is doing more damage. But I'll take uh, Nosferatu here. Because it will heal me. And it will deal damage to all of them. Not a lot. But it will heal me to full. So. Oh, they do so much damage. I probably shouldn't have skipped on Dag Orb, to be honest. But if I can hit a crit here, that would be very nice. Please. I need the crit. I need the crit. Please, please. No! No! Okay, Metriopska, do your work. Hit a crit. Hit a crit. All you need to do is hit a crit, please. Please, thank you. Thank you. My god. I wasn't even guaranteed to hit a crit there. That was... That was scary. <laughs> That's fine. We have a second Metriopska. That was a terrible run out. But if we hit a crit, then it's fine. We didn't hit a crit. That's really fucking bad. Um, I'll skip nose for bar two. Yeah, I'll skip nose for bar two. Oh, this is actually really bad for me. I might lose here. I take so much damage. 15 damage to self. That's fine. Because I heal to full. Morbid Orb. Which is better, Morbid Orb or Ice Circle? Ice Circle is just better here. And it hit the crit! Yes! So that's a guaranteed kill on one of them. Now I just need to kill the other one. And now all we need is Matryoshka to actually hit a crit. Which it's not guaranteed to do, but I can near guarantee it. I m forgot to switch to Matry Obshka because I'm a dumbass. But it's fine. We don't have to worry. I'll wait for the cycle background. And we'll throw Matry Obshka over here, guarantee a kill, and do insane damage. 20k damage for the final run. Why not? 30k damage. For 30 f something thousand, whatever number that was. Mental numbers. And that's it. That is Peg then. Um, so thank you all for watching, I guess. That's the first run on the channel. And I actually reset my save for this so that we could, like I said at the start, so we can have all our saves on recording. And that's level one done, just like that. Thank you guys. Have a good one.